I am on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology. Connect with me on Patreon and we will grow and I will give you much more deep insights on Vedic astrology and lot more secrets will be shared there. Aries Ascendant. If you are an Aries Ascendant, this is going to be a crucial month for you. Why? Because if you observe, now you see your first house lot will be in the first house and Mars movement will go in the second house. And in the second house, this can create both positive and some, I will say, a little bit different effect. Why? Because Mars is a powerful planet. It is your Ascendant and your eighth lot. And it goes in the second house. And now Mars and Saturn both aspects the fifth house which is the sign of leo that means this there can be some uh, argument related to your point of view with your family member it can be because you are trying to do something and somebody in the family is explaining altogether on a different tangent or people are not understanding your words or the way you live or what you want to explain in this case you have to understand that rahu is in the 12th house and it is better to follow the path of Jupiter. Mars is no longer with Saturn or Rahu, but Mars in the second half of the month of July will be with Jupiter. And that is actually a good sign. Now, a retrograde Saturn in the 11th house will actually change your expectation and maybe you were fixated on something, but an advice with an by an elderly changes your opinion, changes your point of view. So this is one thing that you will always have to observe. And Sun, Venus, Mercury, going in the sign of cancer together this is going to create some atmospheric changes circumstantial changes in the family some auspicious event will also happen in the family sudden changes uh, say for example someone uh, coming out uh, that they want to get married to someone but you never knew this maybe suddenly your family says we need a bigger home or let's renovate or let's buy a land and do something you know these kind of changes which is a bit of a surprise but a happy surprise will happen for Aries ascendant natives. Just one thing you will have to observe that your expectations should be kept under control. Your anger should be kept under control. You need to be polite and humble. Financially it's going to be overall a very good time but equally your expenses will trouble you. So try to balance both your income and expenses. Taurus. Now in case of Taurus, if you observe your Ascendant Lord is going to go from second house to third house. And this is a kind of a planetary transit where your expression will become very creative in this month. You will also see the powerful Jupiter and in future Mars coming on your Ascendant. So this means that you will try to bring change in your own personality, in your own self. For you, this particular month is going to be a month of opportunities. A month to express yourself and upgrade, especially in the field of education, certifications. It's going to be a very good time for people who are in creative industry, who are in consulting business, people who are in uh, the field of social media, web designing and also interior designing. Jupiter and Mars combination in the first house is going to make you get some brand new ideas, something that is very different and, and that can transform your business and your career radically. This also means that you will be full of confidence and you will know what you're going to do in life. A retrograde Saturn in the 10th house this month is also going to give you new career opportunities, new areas to explore and new avenues to discuss. And you will be the one who will be the team leader this time. You will be the one who will lead from the front. So don't be a passenger, be a driver in this time of your life. Now, if you observe Rahu is in the 11th house and this Rahu is also very good to give you out of the box ideas. But do follow me on Instagram where I upload moon uh, transit videos, reels, where I tell when moon meets Ketu, Saturn or moon crosses Gandanta. You know why? Because your third house lord will be crossing the Gandanta meeting Rahu, Saturn and Ketu. You will have to be careful because one side Mars will be full of aggression Jupiter is full of personality and power and knowledge. 
but moon is actually your initiative your willpower and your action and it can be hampered or you may get misdirection and you may lose your track also ego anger pride uh, knowing that you are the best can work against you especially if you are someone below the age of 25 for the elderly it's a very good transit because your health will be recovered uh, to whatever extent it can if you focus on the holistic lifestyle overall it's a very good month for you gemini now in case of gemini if you observe that your ascendant lord is in the second house and it will move to the third house which means that you are very much uh, active during this particular month a retrograde saturn in the ninth house also wants you to travel a lot so there can be a lot of mobility movement happening around uh, you within your family with your relatives the neighbors maybe short trips maybe vacation or maybe business related travel also it shows that you are uh, ready to communicate what you experience so all you have to do is you will have to be a very very matured in your communication while this month goes jupiter will be in the 12th house good for people who want to travel abroad good for people who want to study abroad or who want to relocate to a foreign country now if you see that rahu is in the 10th house and mercury in the second while mars will be in the 11th house and then in the second half it will move to the 12th house so this means definitely uh, initially there will be a lot of investments happening financial gain happening but you will have to be careful otherwise you will end up investing which in one way is good or you might invest in a bad place and you can lose money so expenses can also increase while you see the july is proceeding to the second half now we know that the seven month is starting from 22nd of july so you should do rudra bhishekam with uh, with a priest or with a pandit and rudra bhishekam can be done uh, on monday uh, it can be ek rudram panch rudram depending upon uh, what you want to do and this can be an excellent remedy to manage retrograde saturn rahu and the movement of your ascendant lord uh, because uh, when ascendant lord is in the second house it is under the affliction of rahu when it comes in the third house in the sign of leo it comes in direct impact of retrograde shani so it might be that you are thinking something and then you're rolling back your plans you should not waste this time only thinking but actually for actually focus on proper execution cancer ascendant for cancer ascendant if you see lot is happening on your lagna sun is going to come mercury will have come venus will enter this zodiac sign then mercury mercury will move out and then mars will move in the 11th house from the 10th house so lot is happening around your ascendant and also a retrograde saturn in the 8th house so it's a very eventful month for you lot of transition lot of changes you will see especially if you are in the mahadasha or antardasha of saturn or mars you will see a major transformation also if you see mars going with jupiter in the in the 11th house will actually aspect your second house so financially major decisions will be taken in july 2024 so what should you do be very careful on your financial transactions be very careful and monitor each and every moment of your financial cycle also when you are buying something when you are spending something when you are even going out and having a dinner in a at a restaurant be careful how much you are spending keep a track also uh, focus more on doing auspicious activities in your home like doing some prayer some sadhana some tapasya havan some poojan because that is how mars and saturn will be balanced reading sundarkand part on tuesday and saturday will be an excellent remedy for people who are suffering from mars or saturn problem and uh, if you are a cancer moon sign and this is the ashtam dhaya and a retrograde saturn is going to bring out some surprises for you now mars with jupiter will give you the necessary company to counter the negativity that comes but it also means that something that is uh, that was stuck for a very long time will start showing the sign of resolution after the second half of july 2024 so this is going to be a very positive month you will be bright you will be happy so if you uh, focus on spiritual healing 
it will be a great time and because sun venus and mercury will also cover your ascendant you will become famous name fame and success will come to you in this particular month and also as i said that this will be a healing month then if you are suffering from any disease especially mental disease or if you are having any personality dilemma this month will be very crucial for you leo ascendant now in case of leo if you observe your ascendant lord is in the 11th house and it will go move to the 12th house so with respect to the position of sun it is actually going to be an a month where you will balance your income and you will balance your expenses so to if you want to balance your personality if you want to gain something if you want to give up something if you want to let go of something this month is very important for you and also people who want to move to the abroad who want to travel abroad who want to do things out of their home territory this is a very positive month for you a retrograde saturn in the 7th house means you will have to be very sensitive towards the feedback and especially with your life partner and when sun goes in the 12th house that second half of the month of july a couple of things will happen number 1 sun will find saturn 8th from itself number 2 mars will be in the 10th house along with your jupiter so on one side mars and jupiter is giving you the will to fight but sun in the 12th house shows that the fight cannot happen in within your body within your mind which means you will have to take things outside say for example you might have to involve a lawyer in order to you know solve a problem or a third party may have to be brought in so see where you can bring in the help that you can get and not resolving everything by your own self this is uh, going to be a little difficult for introvert people because uh, you want to resolve everything by yourself but better to take help wherever necessary otherwise this is going to be a very positive transit mars and jupiter in the 10th house will work on your financial trine 2 6 and 10th house are getting activated so financially career wise this is going to be a very very positive time maybe because you are not confident you are not happy you are getting a bad feedback you choose to get out of the current position and find a new place for yourself overall this is going to also create a new comfort zone for you and your mind will work 10 times more take proper care about your sleep take proper rest otherwise you will start having problems in your lower back and maybe you will gain weight so be very active during this time lethargy procrastination is your biggest enemy chanting surya gayatri mantra is an excellent remedy for uh, for all of you who are leo ascendant virgo now this month is going to bring you lot of relief you know why because in the second half of the month we'll see mars coming out of your 8th house and settling down in the 9th house with jupiter and this is going to take care of lot of negative things happening around you whereas saturn is getting retrograde in the 6th house revealing problems loopholes and this is going to help you take the matters in your own hand you know why because your third lord which is mars is now with jupiter in the 9th house with the divine blessings and with the divine interference you will be able to sort most of your problems or at least you will get some insight on which direction to take also it is very good time for people who want to do lot of research who are in the field of medicine who are in the field of uh, you can say anesthesia now if you see your ascendant lord mercury will have its movement from cancer to leo during this particular month which means from uh, the 11th house mercury will move to the 12th house and therefore you will get, stand to gain lot from places outside your local space that means if your business is global if you are having overseas business if you are working in an mnc if you are an it professional or if you are staying abroad or in a different city you stand to gain most in this particular month but because mercury uh, becomes very lethargic and very inactive in the 12th house you should be very careful here because you will think a lot but you will act less so procrastination and laziness will become very high the tamas will become very high so eat light and uh, try to see if during the night you are eating very light food or even for those who can possibly fast and not eat anything after the sunset also take care of your skin related problems take care of your health 
during this particular time uh, especially in the second half of the month and uh, if you want to learn something new if you want to change your role if you want to bring or hire more people this is the right time especially for big companies and for entrepreneurs and startups it's a golden opportunity to do something extraordinary in this particular month so something big is awaiting if you are a young uh, entrepreneur and if you have a young startup you will get all problems resolved and this is going to bring you peace of mind but also you will be seeing yourself in a very high mental activity maybe things are happening or there is a high hope of things to move in the right direction which is not letting you sleep take care of your health also this is going to create certain travel sometimes unexpected travel or unexpected expense related to travel do not resist that too much let it be go with the flow libra now in case of libra ascendant the venus will be in the sign of cancer venus will be in the 10th house mercury will move from 10th to 11th in the second half mars will move from 7th house to the 8th house and therefore this is a time of transformation this is the time where you would put your, all your energy into some creative pursuit so if you are into creative industry something big is happening if you are into business something big some big changes will happen and if you are looking for investments it's on the cards now the major impact will be created by a retrograde saturn in the 5th house do watch my retrograde saturn video ascendant wise which i have already uploaded on my channel the link is in the description box and the pinned comment section the retrograde saturn in the 5th house is actually something that is going to create a major shift in your life by bringing new knowledge and because of that and because of jupiter in the 8th house it's a very research oriented transit your 7th and 2nd lord mars will also be in the 8th house which really wants you to focus more on your health your overall well being and wants you to focus more on something that can create a major change in your life say for example there is one certification that you can do if if you choose to do that it can create a big change say uh, you you can be hired in a niche skill or say you hire one resource and that completely changes the the way your business operates you add one product or delete a product and somehow you are going to make money so see one change one that one thing that can make or break that situation will come in july 2024 otherwise overall this is going to be a good transit rahu being in the 6th house and ketu being in the 12th house is good to combat enemies but try to avoid unnecessary loans because this can create a loan kind of situation maybe you are overusing your credit card and consuming the entire limit chanting rin mochan mangal stotra is a very good remedy scorpio now in case of scorpio if you observe mars which is in the 6th house will move in your 7th house it will move along with jupiter so this is a time where your actions will be towards establishing a good business and for people who are eligible for marriage it might be that you are trying to search your life partner or you are executing something related to marriage and this is a good time for that if your mahadasha or antardasha allows one thing there is a retrograde saturn in the 4th house and if you are a scorpio moon sign then this mean that this is chauthi dhaiya fourth dhaiya for for you which means that you will have to be very careful because on one side the mars in the 7th house is something that wants to bring equally equality through force which is which, which may not work and on the other side a retrograde saturn both mars and saturn aspecting taurus can be bad for your health and it can be a little tricky for your comfort zone maybe you have to quit the comfort zone and you will have to do things which you know but you not don't want to do that means extra responsibilities are coming your way health of your mother can be a little challenging for uh, thing for you so be very careful this is the time for great change a new association or a new partnership can happen in the month of july 
and uh, especially towards the second half of July because of Mars coming in the seventh house. But then remember one thing that you will have to make it happen and you will have to put in all your efforts. Otherwise, the big change which will be uh, created by Mars and Jupiter in the seventh can be nullified by a retrograde Saturn in the fourth, which means you may have a half-hearted approach or matters in your own home may restrict you. This is the time where you will have to take uh, probably a leap of faith. That's the Scorpio uh, energy, the, the energy that is deeply rooted in transformation. That is what you will have to use. And maybe you will have to break the shackle and do something which is radically different for, from what you are already doing. So it's more like a path breaking month for you and a month of big changes, especially in business and in relationships. Sagittarius. Now for Sagittarius, if you observe that your Ascendant Lord and Fifth Lord is in the 6th house and when Mars goes in the 6th house, it is also causing a Viparit Raj Yoga in the second half of the, the July 2024. Which means that this is the time to heal, this is the time to focus on correcting the mistakes and for startups and young entrepreneurs, this is going to be a very, very good time. A time of motivation, a time when you can win you over your enemies and the time when you will shine bright. However, you have to take great care of your health. You also have to take great care of the loans and debts. One more thing, because in your eighth house, there will be Sun, Venus and Mercury energy moving. This means that occult energies, the divine energies are with you. And the more sadhana that you do, the better your life will be in July 2024. Which also means that you have to save your money as much as you can and invest in the right purpose and in the right causes. This is going to be a tremendously positive transit. Your third house will see a retrograde Saturn, which means your approach towards life will change. Major teachings and learnings are coming in the month of July. This is the month to unlearn and relearn. To launch a new product, to launch a new company, this is going to be a great time. You may get uh, investments and the things that will happen in your life will be such that you will realize what to do, when to do, how to do, where to do. So it's going to be a very uh, a, a kind, kind of a balance of masculine and feminine. And that is why July is going to be a very cru crucial month for you. Doing a Rudra Bhishekam uh, in the month of Savan, that means after 22nd of July, is a very, very good remedy for you. Capricorn. Now in case of Capricorn, if you see your Ascendant Lord is in the second house and it is getting retrograde. So definitely matters in your family will change and it will involve you, it will pull you. But it is pulling you to focus your energy and find a solution. It is also going to bring your attention towards your financial matters, especially something that is connected to savings. In the month of July, if you observe, Mars is changing its zodiac sign uh, from Aries to Taurus, which means uh, that Mars is actually going into your fifth house and a fifth house mars wants to you know have an eighth aspect on the twelfth house which means it is going to work very well for you minimizing your expenses reducing your operating cost cutting down the unnecessary trouble from your life the power of sun mercury and venus in the seventh house is also going to bring harmony happiness and peace in the relationship in the month of July. So the second half of July seems to be very positive, very enlightening and very uh, life transforming for you. It is more like uh, you are getting the, 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 the benefit of the Prakriti. Chanting Mahamrityunjaya Mantra is going to be a brilliant remedy at this point. Simply chanting Om Namah Shivai, doing meditation, doing Brahman Bhojan, visiting a temple, reading a scripture is going to be very good. For, it's a very good time for people who are involved into academics, ed tech industry, somebody who is a professor or somebody who wants to be a professor, somebody who wants to learn. It's a very good time for students and it's a very good time for people who want to do certifications. You will feel very happy, very comfortable. Problems related to children or childbirth will also see things which are positive, something that is going in your favor. So this also means that this is going to give you new source of income. This is going to give you new ideas. And this one month, 
may take you away into isolation and this can also break barriers barriers between family members maybe you were capped in your savings you were unable to save any further now you will be able to save more this is also a time where if you chant hanuman chalisa like for one month if you do 1100 hanuman chalisa it will be a very great intense sadhana of bhagwan shri hanuman aquarius now in case of aquarius if you observe that your ascendant is going to see your ascendant lord going retrograde that means it is going to rewind lot of things mars which is in aries zodiac sign aries which is your third house mars which is very powerful there will see mars going in your fourth house so this can be a little uncomfortable situation you may be more concerned with the help uh, health of your mother and you may be pulled into many directions and therefore you will have to quit all directions and focus on one now what is that direction is what you will have to choose if you observe that venus sun and mercury will pour their energy will focus on the sign of cancer during this time especially in the second half and the kark rashi energy which is your sixth house shows that uh, there are certain challenges and difficulties especially in relationship marriage handling the soft side of the life and you will try to use the brute strength to manage uh, the it's like managing the feminine side of the life through masculine energy it's not going to work so there will be a certain level of incompatibility in your life when you when you when you see different events happening now what you will have to do is you will have to be very clever in managing the time and putting your energy in right directions at right time at right amount be it your career marriage personal life or health not a great time to take a loan not a great time to buy something but a great time to focus on your health focus on setting your goals and priorities so it will be a goal setting month for you now what should you do doing rudra abhishek chanting om namah shivaya chanting mahamrutunjay mantra will be an excellent remedy for you also because mars will be moving in the fourth house chanting mangal mantra mangal stotra doing an upasana of sundarkand will be or doing a havan related to bhagwan hanuman will also be an excellent remedy for people who are having uh, who are facing lot of financial issues praying to ma mahalakshmi is a is a perfect remedy especially in the second half maintain that work life balance and maintain your energy because if you drain yourself too much too soon you won't have any energy left to put in any other area and then you will say that the energy are going in a negative direction think about it pisces for pisces ascendant if you observe jupiter will come with mars in the second half so this means that the second half of july will have a power of both ascendant lord and the second lord as well as the ninth lord and it is going to happen in your third house so mars is going to pull jupiter out of the problem so this is going to be a very very powerful very enthusiastic very wholesome transit that will that can change your destiny certain decisions that you will take with full faith will be correct and you will see that your confidence might be all time high you know these energies of mars and jupiter coming together you have to ensure that in spite of all the confidence you are verifying the information because jupiter is in marana karaka sthan now if you observe that the sun mercury and venus will shower its energies in the sign of cancer which is your fifth house therefore lot of knowledge will come your way you will have the association of satsang of the learned people of the subject matter experts so there is no a uh, dearth of expert opinion available that will help you be in the right track now it is totally up to you how you use this how you manage these energies now if you observe the position of saturn which is retrograde in this particular month saturn gets retrograde on 30th of june in your 12th house it will bring out the old past things maybe a hidden fear and jupiter and mars in the third house will clear it out that means you need to focus on healing so if you can get a healing therapy reiki therapy it will be great for you 
also uh, this is a great time for people who are into communication who are into teaching who are into technology industry or who want to upgrade their knowledge in the technical domain overall for pisces i will say it's a thumbs up it's a beautiful transit matters related to brothers will also be resolved during this time there can be certain education or career related travel for you in the month of july but i will say that yes that's a very very a uh, positive outcome of the transits obviously everything depends on your mahadasha or antardasha but one thing you will have to ensure that you are not being too aggressive in your life too much of aggression will only kill the power of jupiter it's more like your anger and aggression is overpowering the knowledge never let that happen and if possible read bhagavad gita because the answers are lying there